Hello guys and welcome back to Master of Olympus Zeus or Zeus Master of Olympus one, one of the ways round anyway We're back. We're playing as Phoebes going into our colony in Crete And now here we are we've got a ton and I mean a metric ton of money And we're on 10% speed so that's good right so I think when we last left off we had objectives here We had to get 30 planks of wood super easy to do 30 wine it's, it's not super easy, but it's it's definitely doable. So, let's go. By the way, I hopefully have fixed my settings. So I noticed in my last few Let's Plays that... Uh, my PC died, by the way. I'll, I'll preface this. My PC died, so I lost all my settings on everything. For some reason, all the Let's Plays I've been doing recently have had really weird, like, uh, bitrate issues. Uh, and I've been trying to figure it out, and I finally figured it out, so hopefully there's no more screen tearing or something. I mean, if it's there, then I'm an idiot and I haven't fixed it yet. So, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping it's fixed. I'm looking at the recording now. I think it's fine. I can't really tell because it's quite a small screen anyway. Hmm. I think it's fine. <laughs> we shall see. Right. Uh, so, let's try and build our little place. In fact, let's not build it there. What I want is probably enough space just here, because if you've seen the map, we've got like this sort of location here. We could try and build out over here, but I might as well stay around here. I probably don't need that large a city. So, I'll make a palace just here on the main road. That should be fine. Uh, off the palace, I shall set our main sort of housing to be over here. Or I could do it a bit closer. Yeah, let's do it a bit closer. Give us a bit more space. So, remove that. There we go. I'll have the common agora. Lock it off. Food vendor. I'll have the granary there. I'll have this up here. Now, as far as food, we can have onions. That's it. We will live purely, we will live and die by the onion here. So, I'll have this entire sort of main road covered in onions. There we go. Onions, onions, and nothing more than onions. Nothing but onions here. Onion economy. Our currency will be stamped with onions. Our people will eat, breathe, and wear onions. Then we'll have onion suits. They're like ogres. Layers, or oh, whatever. Uh, right, so yeah, got that going. Uh, other things I'll need? Uh, probably houses. That would be good. What I might do ahead of time is just make a boulevard. So yeah, we can have large enough. Have it up here. It's, I got plenty of money, like I said. So, I could have you guys live up here. You guys live down here. On top of that, we shall get a maintenance company here and here. Also, I have one here. Have a water. Our watchtower, have some water. Um, let's see. I don't know how much population I'll really need. I'll probably do that other thing. I don't have too much space to work with, so I'll probably do this. What I could do, actually, I, I could have this coming back down. Yeah, it is kind of compact. I could try and do that thing that I did before. The very inefficient system. But it'll get me a few more employees, which I could be, uh, which could be useful for me. I could have the boulevards, not, well, this is Avenue, sorry. Could have just a bit more housing down here. The guy should have to come all the way down here anyway. It just means that I might have to have, like, a fountain of a maintenance office just over here. Um, infirmary. Probably just have that a bit further off, like this. Oh, that's provided. I have enough space for my peers. 
So actually, what do I have? So you are pay oh, actually, you're paying me a yearly tribute of wine, which will go towards what my objective, actually. I could wait two years and just get some wood. Hell, I could buy wood. Is it produced or is it set aside? That's it. It's set aside. I could just buy the stuff. I could buy the, the wood. I could buy the wine. And, and then I could just come back. Like, this doesn't actually have to produce anything. I could buy it from here. I could buy the... Uh, no, sorry. I could buy the wood from Libya. Uh, I could get the wine from Ulysses. And just... Uh, that would be it. I would be done. But I'm not. I'll, I'll produce it. I'll, I'll do it properly. Or hell. I could ask for wine. I don't think I can ask for anything, anything from Libya. Uh, right. So, yeah. Uh, as far as fins... I mean, I could set up selling wood to you. That could be part of my economy. Again, I, I could sell, like, fleeces as well. Uh, who buys fleeces? Libya buys fleeces, of course. Libya, my main trade partner. I'll set up another trade post to Libya. Now, where can I put it, though? So I could put it there, but I got a hospital there. I could put it over here. Yeah, okay. I could put some stuff over here. Yes, I have to put that there. Sell fleeces, and then I can have another sort of industry up here. One, two, three, four. Put the sheep down, or I can when there's people. I think people are just coming in now. Uh, another thing I'll do then is I shall grow the vineyards I need. So one, two, three, four, maybe a fifth one there. And we get loads of stuff to produce the wine that we're going to be doing. There we go. That should be more than enough space to make the wine. And then set up a maintenance office to ensure that you don't fall down in all these places. Then lastly, I just need a timber mill. So, where can I put a timber mill? Where can I put a timber mill? Probably just have it coming off somewhere. I could probably have it coming off here. Timber! Timber, timber, timber. Now, I think timber is a renewable resource anyway. So I don't... Uh, when they chop one down, it will come back eventually, as long as I don't delete it myself. So, I can have some storehouses around. I can probably have it up here, or maybe even up here. Oh, Kronos Blossoms! Uh, so, Minos of Kronos has grown into a significant city, no longer isolated from the rest of the world. And Talos is in the city. What's that loud clang? It's Talos! A fierce man of bronze, and his and he has destruction in, on his mind. Ha <laughs> ha! And Jason's Hall is here. I'm not gonna bother with Jason's Hall. The objective of the game, or this episode, is not to defeat the Colossus. I think the game actually expects you not to do it, but it gives us the option anyway, because Talos is here. We're not gonna do it, though. Oh, uh, thank you, Phoebes. Wow. <laughs> so, you give me so much money. Feel the pain as I rain blows on your brain. Right, so, Talos is here. That's also why I'm not gonna build up there. That is a lost cause to build there. So I will let him have that part. I will just be over here. In fact, what I'll do, I'll just build out some stuff here. It's gonna be kind of awkward to get... <laughs> Uh, your goods to places, I will admit, because the storehouse is going to be built all over the goddamn place. But that should be fine. Gonna have to make this city very compact. Is that everything I need? I think so. I could have a fleece vendor. But otherwise, I think we're good to go. Let's set this going at 80 speed. Get people in. New city. A new home, and maybe a new job. Fortune is smiling upon me. Getting local people from Crete in to join our city. People from all over coming in. See, what I could do is I could join this back up, and then it would only be this circuit. 
So I could actually get rid of this house. Uh, make this a proper circuit so he does come round and it is visited to these areas. Uh, so keep it going with an avenue on here, on here, and along here. Or maybe. Come on. Come on, do it for. No, okay, can't do it with that one. Fine. That should hopefully be good enough, though. Not the most efficient, but it's here. In fact, I could even put a few houses down around here. Uh, now, what I need also is a bit of culture. I need, to, I need to tax them as well. Egypt has been discovered. We've discovered the oldest civilization in the world. Excellent. Put a tax man there. Put a gymnasium there. Get out the way, migrants. <laughs> Uh, it says about putting a bridge down. Where would you even put a bridge down on this map? Like, you can make bridges, but I don't know where you'd put a bridge. <laughs> anyway, there, we go. Uh, there they go. I just hope that the tree I cut down is just a tree, and not a tree nymph, Daphne, or, or an oak capable of prophecy. My job isn't easy. No, it's not. Boy, this wood is heavy, eh? What I need is a team of oxen. These hunger pains are sawing me in half. I need some food. Well, we'll have food when the onions come in. Uh, next year, I think. <laughs> Hopefully you can last without food until next year. Uh, otherwise, I suppose... Uh, where do I get food from? So you buy wheat, you sell onions. I could buy in some onions now, or do you sell food? No, you sell wood and oil. I could get some from Ulysses unless Egypt sells wheat. I could get okay, Egypt. Let's let's trade with our new partner, provided I can actually find a location to put this down. I've sort of built over the places that I can put it down. Okay. A uh, hospital might have to be evacuated. I need to put a pier down. Ah, great man! Welcome! Hello. Welcome to the stream. We are trying to build a colony. Alright. Build this up. Ah! Our tribute of wine. Excellent. Let's buy some wheat. Get some food in. Yes. We are here and we have Talos up here. Feel the pain as I on your brain. Nope, you're disappearing. Is it because I destroyed your home to make way for a pier? Yeah, I think all the uh, prime pier locations I've sort of gotten rid of. Oh, you're here from Egypt. Thank God, we got some wheat. There we go, you accept wheat, right? You do. Oh, we've already got ten to wine. Three years and would have enough wine. I or you know, I have I do have enough money to just do it myself, but I promise I'll make it. I'll actually put it in a bit of effort to build up this city. So what am I looking like for unemployment? Oh, I need a crap ton of people. But you are getting in the food. So once we get food in, we'll get more people in, hopefully. Did you see that wrestling match last night? Milo, like, totally smacked down his opponent. Nike must have been on his side. I can't wait to pick out the finest food for my customers. I wouldn't want them to go hungry. By the way, is the sound okay? Because I think... I don't know if it's... I'll turn it down a bit more, just in case. What is this game? What is our objective? Our objective is... Well, currently... We're on episode 4 of 8, or something like that, of the Zeus and Europa scenario. Currently, we are setting up a new colony for Phoebes in the island of Crete. Uh, this one's going to produce us the wine, I imagine. Um, so that's our home city. We're setting up our colony. Our goal is to go, uh, is to go through all the different scenarios, all the different journeys. And uh, get to the end, so... Yeah, like I said, we got 30 planks of wood to get for a current city. 30 planks of... Uh, planks? 30 jugs or whatever of wine to get for our parent city, and then we've completed this episode. 
Hopefully this is enough. Uh, what else do you need? More culture? Is this not enough culture? We got strong men wandering around. There we go. Yeah. I should... See, I've not got enough workers to get this working at the moment, but with the amount of people coming in, I think we should be fine. I just have to get to the equilibrium point where they actually start delivering the goods. Five hundred people. Come on. Come in, people, come in. We need more people. If this doesn't work, I'll have to start deleting some buildings. Maybe some onion farms, maybe some storehouses. Would rather not. Oh, there we go. We've hit that point where they actually deliver the goods. Excellent. Now we've got a stay supply of onions. Well, hopefully we'll have a stay supply of onions. <laughs> Show your loyalty, get us drunk. Indeed. This is the colony for wine. And wood, I guess? We can't produce wine in our home country. And the only wine I seem to be able to get is from our conquered city of Ulysses here that we got. Uh, we're, they're supplied as wine, by the way. So we're getting wine here. Which then we set aside and say, no, that's we produce that ourselves. Something like that, I have no idea. In any case, uh, we're making good progress. I don't see this taking that long to complete this uh, scenario. Oh, right, at the shepherds. I don't even have any sheep. Let's put some sheep down. There we go. Tend the sheep. Add some fleeces in. Oh, the other thing you need to produce your own wine is a winery. So, where's a good place for this? I could do it up here, I suppose. So, put some of this down. And then, when they get the grapes in, they will start sending it off to get pressed into wine. And then that wine gets used to, you know, send it off to other people. I don't know. It gets sold to the main city, and the nobles drink it, and everything is fine. Or something like that. Even though I don't have a hospital, hygiene's great, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Ah, the first batches of grapes are coming in. They are pressing it, and they are throwing it in each other's faces. Excellent. Oh, they're complaining. Right, uh, what I'm going to have to do is get rid of a house and just have this coming off of it. Sorry. <laughs> Make wire for a hospital. Kronos needs fleeces. I am just kind of producing fleeces right, like right now. Ah, my next tribute of wine. I'm all, this is, conquering Ulysses is probably like the best decision you can make before going to this scenario because they just produce the wine for you. I have seriously almost got like enough wine in two years. And wine's the hardest thing to produce. Wood is easy. Wine takes a bit of pro, you know, a bit of processing. Like, I'm already almost one. It's, I've been here for like 20 minutes. I suppose I can stop, uh, stop buying in the wheat. Save some money. Yeah, this was, uh, this is quite easy. What else do you need? You need fleece, uh, fleeces, which we are just about to get in. But we also need to set some fleeces aside for our ally here. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if we can win before then. Uh, we're just sending off our first lots of wine now. Gift of olive oil. Excellent. What am I do? Don't buy the fleeces, I'll send it off first. I think we're okay, like, even though we're in desperate need of workers, I think we're still running efficiently enough to keep the city going. Yes, I know you need fleeces, I know you're saying, yes, please give me fleeces, but guess what, I don't have any fleeces yet. I am moving fleeces as we speak. 
How many did you need? I don't know. It was like 12 or something. We produced four. Oh, we discovered another place. Where's that? Way up there. Is that Camidia? Camidia? Or... Cad... Me... Me... Mia. Me... Yeah. Mo got plenty of onions. <laughs> okay, maybe I went a bit overboard on the onion supply. We're not actually eating that much food. Maybe I can get rid of some onion farms. <laughs> Maybe I can put some more storehouses over here. Stop people from traveling all the way over here to the overflow. Ah, I have enough wood. Excellent. And I almost got the wine in. In fact, at the end of the year, I'll have the wine. So, I'm almost done with the scenario. How are we doing for the fleeces? Places are absolutely stacked. Oh wait, am I? Oh crap, I'm selling the fleeces! No! <laughs> That's what's happening to my fleeces. Uh, sorry, Kronos. Or, no, whatever your name is. I'll, I'll order some wine and just hope to God that they don't absolutely hate me. It's fine, it's only fleeces. Who absolutely needs fleeces these days? I mean, maybe if you drop them off fast enough, I can just do it. It's like you're, you're overstocked and you can put it there. Ah! Yes! Okay! D hold, hold the phone! Okay! I think we've won the scenario! <laughs> Set it aside. Set aside the wine! <laughs> we've won! Okay, we'll just have to wait for that to register. I think... Hmm... I guess we'll just have to wait. We might still get a, an annoyed message saying, Why didn't you give us our fleeces? You're a city that's only been here for two years and you didn't give us fleeces, you horrible person. What are we eating tonight? Oh, a lovely union salad with caramelized onions and some beautiful onion soup. Hey, there's some wheat in there that we got from Egypt, you know. We had, we had wheat, like, a few months ago. Like, be happy. Like, oh, by the way, it wasn't bread. It was wheat. It was raw wheat. We didn't make it into anything. They sold them wheat. Now, I don't know many people who eat raw wheat. Most people process it, but, you know, we don't have anything processed in the wheat. Maybe Greeks are just built different. Who knows? The priestess's prophecy has come true. You have wrested Europa from Talos's grip and delivered her back to her brothers in Greece. Talos, however, is enraged that you have taken his charge from him and is following close on your heels. Hold on. How how did I wrestle anything from Talos's grip? I got some wine and wood. Did you not see Talos? Did Europa just come over like one night and like, oh my god, there's so much wood and wine here. You must be so spectacular, I'm gonna leave with you. No idea. Anyway. The wedding of Harmonia and Cadmus was a splendid affair. Hephaestus, Aphrodite, and Ares were in attendance, along with notable leaders from all over the world. Ares and Aphrodite beamed with pride as they each presented Harmonia with a gift. Aphrodite gave the bride a gorgeous necklace that Hephaestus had made, and Ares presented the bride with a beautiful and ornate robe. But the gift that you brought to the wedding was the best of all. You brought Europa, and she was finally reunited with her brothers, Cadmus, Thasus, Phoenix, and Silix. Ecstatic over the return of their sister, Cadmus and Thasus have become your staunch allies. While Phoenix and Silix opened their distant cities, Phoenicia and Cilicia, to trade. 
Harmonia and Cadmus even agreed to present you with the robe and necklace, though they thought it best to send you the gifts later, after the gods had left, so as not to offend them. Only two things marred the ceremony. The first was the fear that Talos would arrive on the scene at any moment. The second was the shocking lack of wine. Wine has been difficult to come by in Greece lately, except in Mount Sithirum, which has an abundance of the beverage. The people of Mount Sithirum are refusing to share their supplies, though, keeping all of the wine for themselves. Okay, so, to win the wedding presents, we must slay a monster and build two sanctuaries. We've already got one, so we just need to build another. Should be easy enough. We can buy in the wood, we can buy in the sculptures, and we already have the marble locally sourced. So, let's go. Do I still need to do that thing? We got a colony monument with a fountain of a colony at Sidonia. Our city's influence is spreading. You can now celebrate the city's successful expansion by building a commemorative monument. Hello, One Step. Welcome. Okay, the, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that request. That's their problem now. So, wow, there's a lot of places that are opened up to us now. We can buy fleeces, we can sell onions and bronze. We don't need to do any of that. This city's kind of useless. Uh, this one sells fish. Wait, hold on. is that me? I can't remember. Hold on, how does this work? They s Okay, they sell wine. Yeah, so they sell onions and that uh, they buy fleeces. Actually, I take that back. They're great. I need to go to them. <laughs> That's the opposite of what I meant. I'm selling fleeces and oil to them, because that's the main things I produce. So I'm gonna go to them, Phoenicia, they buy oil, I also can sell oil. I could expand my oil trade quite a lot and make a lot of money. They buy bronze and sculptures, sell onions, that's another food source, which I might not need. Uh, they sell wine. But this, my city here also sells wine. They're paying a tribute of... Huh, that's interesting, before... They paid a tribute of grapes. Now they're paying a tribute of wood. Interesting. Except from the last time I played. Ages ago. Right. In any case. Let's go. 